Who recorded the car noises heard on driver's license? Olivia Rodrigo? No, it was her mom! Welcome to MTV's VMA edition of Stan vs. Stan, the internet game show for hardcore fans to flex their knowledge on their favorite artists from this year's Video Music Awards. Today's episode is putting our competitors, Anthony and Caitlin, to the test on first-time VMA nominee Olivia Rodrigo, who is up for a whopping five awards this year. And for you at home, grab a piece of paper and keep score for yourself to see how you stack up on our Stan meter at the end of the episode. Caitlin, you're up first. What is Olivia's full name? Olivia Isabel Rodrigo. Correct! That's what it says on her driver's license. Anthony, in what city was Olivia born? It starts with a T. T, t uh, see, I don't know how to pronounce it. Take a guess. Tanuga. Oh, Temecula. Caitlin. When is Olivia's birthday? Her birthday is February 20th, 2003. That is correct. Anthony, Olivia's paternal grandfather moved from this country to the US. Italy? No, Philippines. Philippines, yeah, it's going all slow. <laughs> Caitlin, which Olivia song is this backwards? You're true, I'm all of ours now, and if I were obsessed. I'm, ooh. I'm gonna say driver's license. You are correct. Sweet. Anthony. Uh, jealousy, jealousy. Oh, Anthony, getting that wrong is bad for you because Good For You is nominated for best pop at the VMAs. Oh my God. Caitlin, in the video for Deja Vu, what Easter egg appeared in the background photo? I believe her album cover appears. I believe you got yourself a point. Anthony, what phrase appears in all Olivia's social bios? I hope you're okay. Anthony, I hope you're okay. With your score being still zero, the answer was spicy Pisces. <laughs> Okay. Caitlin, Olivia will be walking the VMA's red carpet for the very first time this year. I mean, hardly gonna wear the same thing twice. But which past look is Olivia's? I believe Olivia wore number four to the Brits. You are correct. It's obvious. Anthony, what red dress did Olivia wear? It's obvious. Ah, oh, nice. I see what you did there. It's clearly number two. Finally, a point on the board. Correct. Caitlin, what's the name of Olivia's producer and co-writer from her album, Sour? Her producer's name is Dan Nigro. That is correct. Killing it. Anthony, come on. Y'all really giving her the easy part. <laughs> Who recorded the car noises heard on driver's license? Olivia Rodrigo? No, it was her mom. Okay, let's get even closer. Caitlin, which eye is Olivia's? I believe Olivia's eye is number three. You've got yourself a point, Anthony. Which lips are Olivia's lips? I'm going to say two because two, that's typically like her, her smile. And you are absolutely correct. Well done. Caitlin, what is the name of Olivia's character in High School Musical, the musical, the series? Is it Nini Rodriguez? Incorrect! Nini Salazar Roberts. That's it. <laughs> All right, Anthony. Olivia commented that she was in a puddle of tears for being next to this artist on the Billboard chart. For being next to Taylor Swift. You got yourself a point! Let's try this again, Caitlin. Which Olivia song is this backwards? That song is Jealousy Jealousy. Correct! I think, Anthony, are you a bit Jealousy Jealousy of Caitlin right now? You can redeem yourself. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with Enough For You. And one point is enough for you. You are correct. Well done. I know my stuff clearly. I'm an expert. Oh, clearly, yeah, because that's what the scoreboard says. <laughs> Caitlin, what video does this tiny X'd out face show up in? This 
picture is from the locker room scene in the Good For You video. It's in her locker. My God, she's right. Unbelievable performance. Anthony, have a look at this tiny piece of jewelry. Which video is this from? I would go with Deja Vu. You are absolutely correct. Well done. Comeback season. Oh, is the comeback on for Anthony? That is the end of round one. Caitlin, you've racked up nine points. Anthony, you're on five. It is time for round two. Let's see if we can crank up the difficulty. Caitlin, you're up first. In a cryptic Instagram post prior to the release of Deja Vu, Olivia appears in front of a locker with this number on it. A four? For Good For You? Incorrect! It was 514. It was the release date of Good For You, May 14. Okay, Mr. Know-It-All. Who suggested to Olivia that she spell out sour in stickers on her tongue? It was the manager, designer, director, photographer. All of the incorrect answers. It was her makeup artist, man. Come on! Can't a makeup artist be considered the director of the face? Speaking of faces, Caitlin, which Olivia Rodrigo song do these emojis represent? I'm seeing a sick face. I want to guess that it's her song, Gross. Wrong! The answer is brutal. I'm so sick of 17. Oh, that makes sense. All right, Anthony, this is what song? Red lights, stop sign. I don't want to sing the whole thing, but it's a driver's license. You are correct. Caitlin, what do you see? So I see a thumbs up, which to me says good, a clock, four o'clock, and you. So this is good for you. Well done, a point on the board, Anthony. Which Olivia song do we see here? She mentioned red lipstick on the album, so... I'm gonna go with Deja Vu. And that's no points for you. The correct answer was enough for you. I wore makeup when we dated because I thought you'd like me more if I looked like the other prom queens that I knew you loved before. Oh, the prom queen. That's what the, okay. Ah, oh, man. Okay, these voices are disguised. We need you to tell us whether or not it's Olivia Rodrigo. Do whatever people say happy birthday to me, I just start crying. That is definitely not Olivia. Let's see if you're right. Whatever people sing happy birthday to me, I just start crying. Anthony, you're up. Every combination of bread and cheese together is iconic. Bagels and cream cheese, crackers and cheese, pizza. That is 100% Olivia because I know that her favorite thing is bread and cheese. She loves bread and cheese. And I heard the cream cheese with the bagel, I knew right away. It's Olivia, it's my girl. Is he correct? Every combination of bread and cheese together is iconic. Bagels and cream cheese, crackers Here. and cheese, pizza. There she is. You got a point on the board, Caitlin. So like there are just like random chairs in the world to like if you put like cut them open, like you would find like Jack White poetry, and it's my ultimate dream to cut open a chair and find Jack White poetry in it. Okay, that is Olivia because she is a fan of Jack White. Let's find out. So like there are just like random chairs in the world who like if you if you like cut them open, like you would find like Jack White poetry and it is my ultimate dream to cut open a chair and find Jack White poetry in it. Yes, it is. Very impressive Jack White call there. Anthony. Anytime I like meet a new person, I always ask them two questions. I ask them like, okay, do you have any ghost stories? And also like if you could have like one last meal, like anything you want in the whole world, what would it be? You know what? That does sound like something Olivia said. So I'm going with yes, that is Olivia. Let's find out. Anytime I like meet a new person, I always ask them two questions. I ask them like, okay, do you have any ghost stories? And also like, if you could have like one last meal, like anything you want in the whole world, what would it be? You got a point, Caitlin. After the lyrics, in between the chorus and the verse, in Deja Vu, Olivia quietly whispers this phrase. She whispers, I love you, like she references in the lyrics. Correct. Anthony, what lyric is projected onto Olivia's face and room in the video for VMA-nominated song, Driver's License? Maybe I still see your face, because if you think about the reflection from the white car, from the lights in the music video to her face, it would all make sense. So that's what we're going with. Oh, your thought process confuses me, Anthony. You said forever is the right answer. Oh my God. All right. Caitlin, how did Olivia secretly reveal her album title in the video for Driver's License? 
I actually only noticed this recently. She wears the clothespin earrings that say sour on them. You are correct, Caitlin. And Anthony Watt Taylor Swift song inspired the vocal production on Deja Vu. Definitely Cruel Summer. I pointed that out the moment I heard it. And you are definitely correct. Well done. All right, let's get back to the music. This is the first note of which Olivia Rodrigo song? That is the first note to Jealousy, Jealousy. You are correct! Anthony. Happier. No, you're not going to be happier. It's enough for you is the right answer. This is just... Caitlin, during Olivia Rodrigo's trip to the White House, she wore a vintage suit by this designer. I can picture it, the pink. It looked kind of like this like school skirt and everything, but I have no idea who designed it. Shot in the dark says... Anthony Aiken Jr. It's a good answer, actually. It was Chanel. That makes sense. Anthony, name three kinds of stickers appearing on Olivia's face on the cover of Sour. <laughs> and I can't look behind me? No, uh, no, I, no, 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 no. We'll do it. I'm gonna go with a smiley face, a lightning bolt, and ice cream. Smiley face, correct. Lightning bolt, no. Ice cream, no. We would have taken butterfly, jam, Butterf flower, sun, lollipop, stars. Caitlin, what did Olivia's parents almost name her? Her parents almost named her Isabel, which is why it is her middle name. They gave her both names, Olivia Isabel. You are a Rodrigo encyclopedia. That is correct, Anthony. Olivia said she originally added an extra ding sound to driver's license to prompt fans to do what? So that they can create uh, TikToks. You are correct. You got a point on the board. To finish up round two, Caitlin leads Anthony by a score of 16 to 10. And now for the final test, it's high risk, high reward, where gambling is permitted. On a piece of paper, please write down how many points you want to bet. On the count of three, reveal your wager. One, two, three. Oh, we're both kind of playing it safe. Caitlin wagering just five points. Anthony with seven. Are you ready for the final question? Maybe. I am ready. I'm confident. We'll see how this goes. This sound from Deja Vu. was made using a distorted recording of this instrument. Was it A, theremin, B, harpsichord, C, didgeridoo, or D, mellotron? This is definitely a really tough question, but I think I have a pretty good guess. I should have put more on my wager. Uh, because I know the answer for sure. Okay, reveal your answers. Oh, you've both gone for D, Mellotron, which means you are both correct, and Caitlin walks away as Let's Olivia go. Rodrigo's ultimate stand. Oh, thank God. That, that last question made me really nervous. Caitlin, congratulations. You have won and are moving on to the final round where you'll be facing off against stands of two other VMA-nominated artists. Caitlin did amazing. I can't even lie. She knew her stuff, so hey, congrats, Caitlin. Congrats. Well, you thank you. It. You did really well. You definitely got a couple that I didn't know. This was a really good match. It got really, really close at the end. And what about you at home? Let us know how you did in the comments. And please join us next time for another episode of the VMA's edition of MTV's Stan vs. Stan.